Hello, in this quick JSONR video, we're going to show you how to audit um, databases deployed on the Amazon RDS system and how to easily um, um, audit them, all the activity, all the logs, all the events into the JSONR data lake. For this example, we're going to focus on Oracle, but all of them are uh, pretty much the same. All database types are the same. So quickly jump to the data lake here. So we have since December 31st, so we have some activity in the system. We're going to just filter by server type, finalize the data, have some DB2 from other sources and uh, RDS Oracle. So I just uh, filter on that. That's only going to show me um, Oracle RDS activity. There's a lot of activity as you're familiar with database auditing. Let's just I have this particular user I'm looking for. It's, it's called Matt. Let's see what Matt has been doing over the last few days. Here's activity from Matt. If I open up one of these records, right here's the username equals Matt. Here's the host name, uh, all the information about the database. This comes from all the, uh, the native tools that are provided from the RDS auditing for Oracle. There's no external software installed or agents or proxies. <clears throat> So here's my uh, SQL statement, right? Drop table, test 2020. Right, all the information is there. So we can also um, report on sessions and exceptions, all the activity from all users. At this point, it's all flowing to the data lake uh, seamlessly. In order to enroll a new RDS database, um, we're gonna show you uh, first in the GUI uh, for illustrative purposes. But then the real for, for production, you, you can be going in the GUI enabling 100 or 1,000 databases. So we'll show you how you can use APIs to fully automate this across the enterprise. So we have this Oracle uh, instance on RDS. Obviously, uh, we don't own the, this database. It's a database as a service. So we cannot use the traditional, we can control uh, like we did before. But all those controls are still available as a RDS API option. So here's my database. All we have to do is go to configuration. And similar, like you, like you do with, with Oracle, uh, with standard Oracle on-premises, you have this parameter. So there's an option here where you specify a parameter group. And one of the main options in the parameter group is the audit options. It's all the stuff you're familiar with already for Oracle. So the most important one is here. We, we point the audit trail to the OS. Right, and then um, RDS knows uh, when those get published to the OS, he knows to put them into the CloudWatch uh, bucket for us to retrieve. We'll, we'll show you in, a, in the next section. But that's all we have to do. It's, it's very straightforward. Have a parameter group where we enable the auditing, and just we can use the same parameter group for for tens, hundreds, or thousands of databases. So it's very very simple to to do this. Okay, if we come back after a few minutes, uh, we can see that uh, this log group that we subscribe to and uh, the RDS has been um, confirmed. We have the path here, um, <clears throat> the vendor, the engine, when that's RDS instance, all the details about this Oracle instance are here. Um, the cloud ID, which is important for any interaction with it. And we're importing the data, um, the services available. At this point, it's ready. It's going to be syncing data every couple of minutes. You can configure the, the frequency of the poll. But now we're going to be pulling native logs automatically. You don't have to worry about the, any of the parsing. Automatically, we'll figure out um, how to record sessions, uh, parse exceptions, all the SQL events <coughs> for this Oracle database. Um, one thing to note here under the service dropdown. So the method is the same then of pulling data from uh, from RDS uh, was really different. The only thing different for us is really the flavor of the database. So if it's Postgres, it will look a little different, different format. We need to parse it properly. Uh, MariaDB, Aurora, Oracle, S3 activity. So these are just parses that we have out of the box. We support most of the AWS databases out of the box already with the same method. When doing a mass deployment on these databases on RDS, it is necessary to automate. <laughs> In order to do that, we um, AWS has APIs. So the first one is to uh, enable the, the right log types on each database instance. As you can see, you just put the name of the instance. <clears throat> if you have a 10, 100, or thousands of them, 
we just script these calls and they're all enabled. The second part is to create the parameter group that has the option enabled. <clears throat> uh, it's equivalent to your Oracle parameter file, so it's the same thing. And the last one is just to enable everything. So with, th with these three easy uh, AWS APIs, it's easy to do uh, automate and do an easy mass deployment. At this point, we're finished. Um, we enabled all those APIs for all our RTS databases. So the data is going to be automatically be flowing into, into the system to the JSON or data lake. Uh, as you can see on the screen, we can build a quick dashboard to visualize the data. In this case, we have session data coming in from a couple of different databases. Here's my, um, so maybe some DB2. Here's our uh, RDS Oracle. Here's our user Matt. Gives you uh, how much activity he's been performing. Uh, several IPs, different source programs, and session data. At this point, it's ready. We can build uh, this whole built-in uh, reports. We can use machine learning to analyze the data a little more or build uh, rich visualizations like the one you see on the screen. Please uh, stay tuned for, for the next uh, JSONR tutorial on um, how to use uh, database security auditing. Thanks.